Hey, so I just pulled into the garden center. Now that Christmas is over, it's full steam ahead on houseplants. I honestly don't have a huge houseplant collection. I've got one staghorn fern, which is like my pride and joy. I love that thing so much. And I recently got a wire vine, but I didn't really get anything for it to grow up. So that's one of the things I'm definitely trying to figure out is like some sort of trellis um, or little topiary form for it. And then I think I actually wanna get like one or two more so that hopefully I have like a little collection of maybe little topiaries. And then I'm thinking maybe another staghorn fern since that's going well for me. Um, and just kind of looking at what they've got here. But I feel like once you get past Christmas, um, you know, garden planning is like full steam ahead outside, but there's this little in-between time, which is like the perfect house plant time. So I'm just gonna head into the garden center and see what I can find. That I'm also gonna see what kind of pots they have. I'd love to get like a couple more pots. I've got this one shelf that I'm thinking this winter is going to be my little house plant shelf. It's high up where the cats can't get to it. It's like the only shelf that I have in my main like living area that the cats can't get to. So it's my one house plant spot. So I wanna fill that up and just have like a really pretty collection of plants and topiaries or topiary forms and you know, just like a fun little houseplant area for the winter. So I'm gonna head into the garden center and see if I can find some things that will make that happen. All right, so I was in luck. They had some wire plants. I've got a few pots um, in there too. And then I wanted a rubber plant forever. So I just, I had to get it. I'm actually gonna take these all home. And then I wanted to share a little bit about each of the plants I have um, and a little bit about my care for my staghorn fern, how I'm gonna get these all potted up, especially since my pots are way bigger than my little plants, but I have a plan for that. So I'm gonna take these precious little babies home and I will talk to you in the kitchen. Hey there, so I am back in the kitchen now and it's actually a couple days later because I needed to get a few things from Amazon. I ordered some of these topiary forms for the wire vines and it's a little hard to find topiary forms in a size that works for like a house plant. Um, but I found these on Amazon and I think they're pretty cute. They're just like green little wire topiary forms and I think they'll work well. Um, I wanted to chat quickly about three super easy house plants. As I said before, I'm not a super house plant expert, so definitely easier house plants are something that I'm interested in. And these are just really fun and really pretty. The first one being right here in front of me, this is the rubber plant. A really gorgeous plant. I mean, just look at these leaves there are several different kinds of rubber plants you can get um, really a variety um, of different foliage but this is just i mean gorgeous absolutely love it and this is um i'll put the name of it if i can figure out the exact variety anyways it is really really beautiful and Rubber plants typically are not a super hard house plant to grow. So they do need some bright uh, light. I'm gonna have mine in bright indirect light for the most part. It's in a south facing room in my house. So it gets a pretty nice amount of light. And um, I'm also gonna be watering it once a week, not overdoing the water on these guys. They're definitely ones that you'd wanna um, let the water drain out, don't have them sitting in water. But other than that, they're a pretty easy and beautiful little house plant. Uh, for me, most of my plants, I do water once a week. Even my ferns, occasionally in the winter months when it gets really dry in the house, I'll water my ferns twice a week if I remember. Um, because they just do like it to be a little bit more um, moist in their soil. But as far as like a plant like this, once a week, should be perfect for it. And I'm going to pot this guy up in one of these really pretty um, terracotta pots. Let me pull this out here. So this is just a really beautiful, um, like cream colored terracotta pot. And as you can see, it's just about like maybe a half an inch to an inch um, wider than the container that it's in, which is just about the right um, size when you're when you're potting plants up. The next house plant 
I want to talk about and these are two plants that I already have but I just thought I'd mention them because they're super easy house plants cactus got this guy in a little head planter he's super cute and then I have one of these so every cactus is a little bit different I found and I don't know the varieties I apologize on um, on either of these I think this is called a bunny ears cactus or something along those lines but when I got them at the garden center it just said cactus uh, but I definitely play around with mine so this guy I've been keeping really really dry and it's been very happy I water it like maybe once a month and not a whole lot now this one actually is happier with a bit more water and so I usually give it water like once a week every other week if it's really humid I'm in Virginia, so in the summer it gets really hot and humid. I don't water it um, quite as much, but yeah, definitely play around with your cactus a little bit. Start with less water, um, but if you find that like it's not growing or it's starting to look shriveled up, like I was noticing with this guy, then you can add a bit more water. But in general, super easy, easy houseplants. Kind of obvious, but I had to mention it. Um, and these again are going to be in a bright in direct light in a south facing room and very happy so the last one which you saw me get at the garden center are I'm trying to figure out which one to grab here wire vine these have been new to me this year as a house plant but they've been growing amazing same south facing bright light i water them once a week really pretty and these are the plants that i'm going to be adding um, a topiary form to so i'm gonna go ahead and move the camera down so you can see what i'm doing these are the wire vines that i got from the garden center and actually you can see they're kind of variegated i don't know if you can see that which is really pretty <laughs> And a little bit different. They've got kind of like um, just a little bit of pink tips in the stems and they've got this pretty variegation. So really sweet plant. But as you can see, this container is tiny, um, but they do grow quickly. There's already some roots coming out from the bottom of those containers. So I'm going to put them in a bit of a bump up as far as size. This is going to be one of the containers I'm going to plant this in. And as you can see, that's quite a bit larger than you would normally probably bump up one of these plants into. Um, but I'm not too worried about that because they're such quick growers that if they take a minute if they kind of shock for a little bit and they just hang out in those pots and they don't really grow super super quickly for a while i'm that's fine you know they're gonna make their way up these topiary forms for sure no problem there and so yeah they can just um hang out in their containers for a little while adjust to being in the bigger space and I think it'll be okay. You do have to watch a little bit if you take a super small pot plant and put it into a much bigger pot, they can shock. Um, but again, I'm gonna just take my chances a little bit with these guys and I think they're gonna be totally fine and if they hang out for a minute and I have to adjust, again, that's totally fine with me. It's going to be a little bit of a process for these plants to grow up the topiary form. So I'm definitely going to continue to just help train them and guide them so that they start to make their way around the circle. And then I'm anticipating that once they get pretty well around this circle, I will just have to um, probably do a little bit of trimming on them. I'm going to try my best to size control and and just trim as needed once they make it around the topiary form i don't really want any bigger plants than that um, but i think that that will work out great and this is just going to be so cute once the whole thing grows up super excited about that next i wanted to talk about my staghorn fern so that plant is such a joy i absolutely love it it's been such a nice plant to care for and really really a beautiful addition i think to any kind of house space you can either mount them on the wall or you can grow them in um 
like in a pot or in a basket or something like that. I will go grab mine and show you what it looks like. I keep my staghorn fern in one of these um, little orchid boxes, which is just really perfect for them. They're one of those um, air plants that hang on to the side um, of like a tree or they'll grow in the crevice um, of, of a tree. So something like this where the roots can get a lot of air is perfect. And then to water it, I just take the whole thing and I submerge it in water for about a half hour to an hour once a week sometimes twice a week if it's really, really dry in the house. Uh, but other than that, it's in a bright, indirect light, and that is like the perfect light conditions for it. It's super happy. You can see it's putting on some new leaves here. Now, the other thing that's really important with the staghorn fern, when these big fronds, <laughs> these big leaves die, you can cut them back. That's totally fine. But up here, I believe they call this the shield. You can see there are these really circular, kind of lily pad looking, I'll turn it around, flat leaves up here to, on the top. You do not want to take these off. You can see it's growing a new one there. These old ones, I will just leave there and it'll grow a new shield above it and just keep growing and growing. If you remove these, it'll actually kill the plant. So the big staghorn looking um, leaves, these can come off but the circular ones at the base, don't remove those. So that's the biggest thing that you need to know about it. Indirect light, submerge to water it, find a nice, um, you know, like a box like this, the wooden kind of uh, orchid container is perfect and you'll have a super happy staghorn fern. So the last one that I'm gonna pot up today is this, um, rubber plant and I'm just going to set him in there and then just sprinkle around the outsides. Now some of these roots were showing above the soil when I got it from the garden center so they're not a problem. I'm just going to leave those exposed and keep it basically at the soil line where it was um, when I got it from the garden center. Try not to spill too much of this but of course you always make a mess when you're repotting things and then I will just water all of these houseplants in and get them set up on their shelf so here is the plant shelf I've got one pot that has room for a plant so that's always fun I'm gonna have to go with something else but it's gonna be really pretty, especially once these topiary forms start filling in. Thank you for hanging out for this little houseplant adventure. I hope you're having an awesome day, maybe hanging out with some of your houseplants, um, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.